Welcome to my Bar Lattes Body Blitz Bar Lower Body Challenge. For today's workout, all you need is a sturdy chair or countertop to hold on to, and I'm using an exercise mat because I'm on hard floor, but if you're on carpet, you don't even need that. Okay, let's get started. I want you to turn your feet out, so it's like there's a wedge of um, pie in between your feet, and I want you to come up on your toes, then come down, lower your heels, and zip up. So it's this motion, and you're coming down to a low point where you can feel your thighs engage. We're just warming up. Down, heels down, zip up through the inner thigh. Releve, down, heels down, zip up. So you're trying to engage all of your muscles, getting them all nice and warm, ready for the bar work ahead. Make sure that you're not gripping your chair too tightly here and make sure that your upper body is really nice and still and straight. The entire time that we're doing these exercises, I want you to think about holding your tummy in and sliding your back down an imaginary wall so that you're really nice and tall and erect. Posture is everything with bar exercises. Up, just two more. Down, zip up. Last one, down, zip up. Now I want you to go the opposite way. Down with flat feet, up into releve, zip up tall. Down, releve, zip up tall. Still keeping your back nice and tall. Shoulders away from the ears. So you might not be able to go down as far in this direction. Just come down where it's comfortable and really think about engaging your quads, the front of your thighs on the up. So squeeze your quads at the top. Up on your tippy tippy toes. Up. Releve, zip up, down. Just two more. Up. And last one, up. So we're all nice and warm now. So I want you to get back up into that high releve position Walk your heels in together so they're touching each other and there's actually pressure on them. Now slide your back down that imaginary wall and I want you to start pulsing. So they're just tiny little pulses and it's wherever you feel the burn. This is for the front of the thighs and you'll also feel it a little bit on the inner thigh and even in your glutes. So just try not to tuck your hips, keep everything in neutral, your spine nice and straight and pulse down. Feeling the heat, especially in the front of the thigh here above the knee. You can just rest your hand on your hips or keep it down by your side, doesn't really matter. This is all about the legs today. Pushing against your heels. Tiny little movements, just a tiny little down an inch, up an inch. Pulsing through those legs, keeping your heels really high. The higher you have your heels, the more you're going to feel this. Just pulsing down. Go for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it down and bring your legs to the back. So it's like a little butterfly motion. Tummy's pulled in, neck nice and long, and pushing your thighs to the back. You're using your heels as a hinging point and you're rotating out, out. Still staying nice and high. Don't tuck your hips forward, keep them really nice and neutral. Keep your pelvis neutral, body really nice and upright and you're just pushing out, out. The accent is back, back. Eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one. Now side to side with those hips. It's a down and up to the side. You're not moving forward and back at all here. You're just going side to side. It's a little plie down and then push your hip up to the side. It's a really hard tuck to the side there. So you're engaging your outer thighs a little bit and your hips. Down and push. Hard, hard to the side. Really exaggerate that hip motion. And you should be coming down low enough so you can really feel that above your knee, especially in the front of your quad. Down, stay up high on your toes and still put pressure on your heels. Nice flat tummies. Just go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one now full range of motion this might not be for everyone if your knees are hurting too much then stay higher up and just do a few more of those pulses but if you can keep your back flat sliding down that wall and zipping up slide down zip up stay up on your tippy toes make sure your heels are still pressing together down and zip really squeeze every part of your leg at the top eight seven you can do this six five don't grip on your chair too hard four three just two and last one awesome job come down shake your legs out a little bit now we're going to go into a parallel position where your feet are directly underneath your shoulders, underneath your hips, fully lined up. You're coming back up into that releve and you're sliding down. Stay up high on your tippy toes. Your back is as if it's up against that wall. Your neck is nice and relaxed and start to pulse. Tiny little pulses. Make sure that you're not putting too much weight on your support. Really is just there for balance. Every now and then, if you want a challenge, you can even take your hand off and see if you can still balance there. If you don't have a chair or you want to start challenging yourself even more, you can even use a broomstick. Just hold on to your little broomstick. That gives you less stability, so you'll feel more challenged. Make sure you're down low enough to feel the front of your thighs. Don't tuck through the hips. Just go for another eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now one leg in front and pulse down again. So the majority of the weight is on your back leg. The front leg is just resting there for balance. You should really be feeling this burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switching leg, other leg in front, in parallel and coming down. Pulsing feeling it through that back leg keeping everything nice and tall tummies pulled in neutral spine don't tuck your hips eight seven six five four three two one now I'm just going to turn to show you what I'm doing come back down stay up on your toes and we're going to shift our hips from front to back so it's as if your hips stay on the same plane and you're reaching down shifting your hips back and then tucking your hips forward, okay? So it's a front to back motion, front to back. Try not to come up. Try to stay down low in those legs and they should be starting to shake now. Mine are shaking. Front to back motion, stay low. Stay up high on those tippy toes. Tummies pulled in, don't round your back over when you're going to the front. Just reach down as far as you can just go for four, three, tucking hard, two, push forward, and last one. Now coming back into that position, we're just going to tuck forward, little tucks. Last thing in parallel, tiny tucks forward, pushing your hips to the front, stretching out the front of your thighs there. Stay down low for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming down, shake out your feet, just point and flex to get that tension out. This is a great workout for the feet as well. Now coming into a wide position, just however wide you feel comfortable, your turnout can be however you, far your hips can rotate. Some people can turn right out, other people are more like this, whatever feels comfortable. Slide back down that imaginary wall and we're going to do that same combination we did at the beginning. Up, up, down. Up on your releve, zip it up, down. So now we're in a wide position. We're going to keep those inner thighs a lot more. Down to your low point, up, zip up. Down, up, zip. So really squeeze the front of your thighs and your inner thighs on the up. Keeping everything nice and straight in your upper body, nice and still, down and up.
squeezing those legs, getting those inner thighs involved. Up. These are our last thigh exercises and then we're moving on to seat. So try and give it your all. Three, two, last one. And we're going to do the other thing. So down with flat foot, releve, zip up. Down, isn't that what we just did? I'm confusing myself now. Did we just do that one or did we go the other way? Up, so down, in releve, down, zip up, flat foot. That's better. Up in releve, down, zip up, <laughs> flat foot. Releve, plie, heels down, zip up. Sometimes it gets a bit confusing. Please don't mind me. Up in releve, down in plie, and zip up. Doesn't really matter. A few extra reps never hurt anyone. And up, up, down, heels, Zip, up, down, heels, zip, three more, and two, and last one. Okay, now coming down to that low point, and just start pulsing. You should feel the burn in your inner thighs. Now start switching your heels in releve, up and down. Really switching them out and pulsing each time. Just come to whichever point you feel the heat. Down and up. Really getting the heart rate up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now both down and up. Down and up, both heels at the same time. Keep that pulse, that tiny little pulse. It's burning, lots of calories. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now come up in releve and pulse. Final little pulse. This is a burner. Stay up high on your toes. Back nice and flat. Eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one. Coming down and now side to side with a flat foot. Tucking, you can take your hand off your support if you want and really think about staying in that horizontal plane and tucking hard to the side. Don't come to the front, side to side. Pushing that hip high. Using your outer thigh here as well. Staying low to keep that inner thigh engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And last thing in plie, knees to the back. Stay down low, knees to the back. Really feeling that burn now, in the inner thighs especially, and in your glutes. So squeeze your glutes, back, back. Eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one. Awesome job, we're moving on to seat work, so I'm gonna get you to change your chair position. So I'll get you to turn your chair around so that the seat is facing you. Now, depending on your flexibility, you might prefer to just keep it where the armrest is, but I find that if you come down a little bit lower, you feel it a bit more in your glutes. So, I'm going to turn it over, and then I'm going to face my chair, and I want you to hinge forward at the waist and place your hands on the chair. Okay, so now, depending on your flexibility, if you can't do this, stay up higher on the lean. The main aim is that your back needs to be flat. You cannot round your back like this, otherwise you will disengage your glutes. So coming down like this, really bending your knees lightly, bringing one leg behind, and then I want you to bring it up. So you're bringing your leg up to approximately hip height, and from that point, you should be squeezing every part of your leg and start to lift. So you're in a parallel position here, and you're just lifting from your high point up. You're not dropping that leg. You're not putting a huge amount of weight in your hands. Just try and balance your weight evenly between that supporting leg and your arms. Keeping your tummy pulled in, looking down at your chair so your neck is in nice alignment, and tiny little ups, they're tiny pulses engaging your glutes. Both hip bones are facing the mat here. So don't be tempted to turn out yet. We will be doing that a little bit later. 
So just deep breaths, nice relax through the upper body. If you want to bend that supporting leg a little bit more, you can. And you're reaching your toe long to the back. So it's stretching to the far wall, but you're also burning out that glute. Just go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to rotate your hip open. See, I've rotated my leg towards you, but try and keep your shoulders both parallel, looking down at your chair, and now lift your leg turned out. So your knee is turning towards the front of the room. You're extending your leg long, pointing through the toe, and you are lifting up high. This engages your outer hip as well as your glutes, giving you that nice dancer's dent. So keeping your leg really high and just tiny little pulses. It's a tiny little up. You're not dropping your leg low. I would rather just this to be a micro movement and really focused than large range of motion where you lose the intensity. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it turned out, large range of motion, down behind the other leg and up. Keep it perfectly straight. You have to lock out your knee here. Don't bend your leg at all. Down and up, up to your high point. Squeeze your glutes at the top. If you want to bend that leg, bend it. Just make sure you're relaxed through your upper body and both your shoulders are facing the chair. You're not turning open like this. Just your hip is turning out and go behind that other leg and up. Keep that knee turned out to the front. Really nice sweeping motion, but squeeze. Make sure you're squeezing. That supporting leg is getting a good workout too. Holding everything in place. Make sure your tummy's pulled in tight. Eight, seven, six, just five, four, three, two, one. Keep it up, keep it turned out. Bend your knee and little raises up. Okay, so make sure your shoulders are still facing the chair. Just your hip is rotated out. Your heel is higher than your knee and little ups, 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 squeezing through that glute and that outer thigh. Little ups, eight, seven, long count, six, five, just four, three, two, and one, keep it there, bend, extend. Extending long, pointing through that toe, stretching as far as you can to the opposite wall, really flexing through your knee, straightening and locking out that knee at the, when your leg is extended. Keep the leg up, keep the knee turned out, and your hips turned out. Eight, seven, six, five, tummy's in, three, two, one. Now extend your leg and we're going to go from parallel to turn out. We're going to turn our straight leg, our hip down and out, down and out. So you're engaging your other glute now, your, the glute in your supporting leg. Keep your neck nice and relaxed. Your spine is still straight. You're not curving your spine. Keep your leg up. Keep it straight, toe pointed, five, just four, three, two, one. Awesome job, bring it in. Just walk your feet out like this. I'm going to switch my chair around so you can see my leg better, but you don't have to do that. And we're going to hit the other side. Okay, so once again, coming down, facing your support. If your wrists are a bit sore, just go like this. If you want to, you can make fists as well. Coming down and other leg back. Bring it up as high as your hip, your hips are parallel and start lifting. Lifting up, tiny little lift. If you wanna bend that supporting leg, you can. Otherwise, just keep it straight. And you're gonna feel this side a lot more quickly because we worked it as a supporting leg already. Okay, not too much pressure in your hands, just relax through your shoulders. Everything nice and comfortable in your upper body. Deep breaths, tummies pulled in. 
and push that leg up using your glutes. Really think about the glute muscle issuing that movement. Point your toe away, stretch that leg out, lock your knee out. Go for eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one. Now rotate that hip open, that knee to the front of the room and little attitude raises with your legs straight. Your shoulders are still parallel. You're still looking down at that chair and you're keeping your toe pointed and your knee locked out and you're keeping your leg really nice and high. Don't drop it. If you need to do this a bit slower in order to keep correct form, then be my guest, do it slower. Make sure your back is not curving. Make sure your back is flat. Tiny little raises, not many more. Keep it up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now down, behind and up. Keep your leg turned out. Come down behind the other leg and up. It's a really large range of motion. You're leading with your outer thigh. Your leg is turned out. Make sure that you don't turn your knee down to the ground. Keep it turned out even when you're down at the bottom of the movement. If you need to bend that supporting leg a little bit, you can. You should be feeling it in that supporting hip. I definitely am. But you can do this, not many more. This is the last set of exercises and then we're done. Five, four, three, two, one. Now keep it turned out, bend your leg and little attitude raises. Now, my supporting leg is on fire. So I suggest next time you do this workout, start with the other leg so that you even it out. <laughs> because if you always start with the same leg, you're really gonna feel it on one side more than the other. Oh, keep it up, keep your knee turned up. Deep breaths, you can do this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it up, bend and extend. You're extending far. You're really squeezing your hamstring on the in and extending and locking that knee out on the out. Deep breaths, flat back, tummies pulled in, arms and shoulders relaxed, don't hunch your shoulders. Deep breaths, you can do this. Second last exercise, you can definitely do this. Lock out that leg, long, long. Five, four, three, two, one. Now that rotation, out and parallel, out and parallel. Your upper body is not moving here. You're really just issuing this from your hips. You're keeping your leg up, so you're still engaging your glute and then you're rotating out and in. Out and parallel, out and parallel. Your supporting leg should be screaming. Mine definitely is. This is the last exercise. Keep going for four, three, two, one. Ouch, bring it down. Shake out your legs a little bit. Curve up through your spine and we're gonna stretch. So I want to do a figure four stretch and just come down like this. If you wanna hold onto your chair, you can. Come down and really stretch out that glute. Oh, push down on your knee, you should feel it in your glute there at the back. Oh, nice stretch. Well done, that wasn't easy. Other side, sitting back. It was a short but intense bar workout. You would've burned a lot of calories for sure. Now facing your chair, put your leg up on the chair and chest towards your leg, it's a hamstring stretch. Really coming down as far as you feel comfortable to stretch out the back of that leg. Point and flex your toes. And then changing sides, other leg up. A nice stretch all the way down the back of that leg. Point and flex your toes. And then just for the inner thigh coming down and stretching away. However you feel comfortable. If you don't want to come all the way down here, stay up here. 
as long as you feel it in that inner thigh. And then switch to the other side. And there you have it. Lower body bar challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to working out with you again soon.